Well, next week is the deadline to file your taxes. But if you file for an extension, you won't have to submit yours for a few more months. Target 12 consumer investigator Sarah Grinelli explains how taxpayers can avoid owing extra money when they seek extra time. If you're in Rhode Island, your tax filing is due on Monday the 18th, but if you're in Massachusetts, your tax filing is until Tuesday because of Patriot's Day. Tax day is right around the corner. The deadline's just a few days away. It's the 13th, so if you're in Rhode Island, you have until Monday. So you could ruin your weekend, and in Massachusetts, you'll have until the 19th. Greg Percaro is a CPA in Warwick. He explains if your tax return isn't simple, now is the time to request an extension by filing for Form 4868. The extension gives tax filers until October 17, 2022. You can do it online at irs.gov if you have an account with them. Um, you can simply download the form. He says it's important to note even if you get an extension, any tax payment you owe is still due now. If you owe money and you don't pay on the due date of the return, which is either the 18th or the 19th, interest does accrue. So we recommend the people to try to pay even if it's an estimate. The federal and state interest rates for late filers are different. At the federal level, they charge a half a percent penalty per month for six months from now until October, plus interest. It turns out to be about an eight or nine percent interest. As for Rhode Island? In Rhode Island in particular, we have an egregious 18 percent interest rate here. So if you don't file your income tax return on time, on top of penalties, you're going to be accruing interest at the rate of 18 percent. And Porcaro says the IRS is sending out checks within three weeks. However, it could take a little bit longer if they suspect fraud, meaning they believe someone else has filed on your behalf. Sarah Grunelli, 12 News.